I also want to thank the Dragon Capital about this fantastic meeting. I think that is exactly what Ukraine now need, the open floor for discussion and the strong motivation for the government to provide the reform. As a group of Ukraine Invest, we invest during the year 2009-2010 uh, more than $200 million in the Ukrainian economy. And this is, I think, the very good sign of hope and the very good sign of uh, possible of optimism. Of course, now Ukraine has a unique perspective, and that's because I'm an optimist. Ukraine has a very favorable foreign trade condition for the main product of the Ukrainian export. If you see the price for the iron and steel uh, within the last one year, the price is double. If you see the prices for the Ukrainian uh, agriculture uh, production as a food, the price is 50, 60, 70 percent higher than a year ago. And this is one of the main reasons, not the governmental initiative, why we have a favorable situation with a balance of payment. It is absolutely real for Ukraine to join top 30, top 40 countries in the rating for uh, for uh, to make a business easy, in the rating uh, for the favorable countries for the making business. And the success of such a countries like Georgia can be additional motivation for Ukraine for providing this type of the reform. But I think that it is absolutely real to be, uh, to sign the uh, deep and comprehensive free trade agreement for the Ukraine with the European Union this year creating an uh, absolutely unique opportunity for the investment, uh, the easy approach uh, for, the, uh, for the European market, having much lower self cost. And I think the political pressure from the side of 27 countries, using the Polish possibility as our advocate, is now crucially important. Because for, every, for everything, we need a right time, and the right time for FTA with the European Union is year 2011. We agreed about that, that this is unproportional in Ukrainian favor, uh, FTA. And uh, I think that we need now to unite the efforts to demonstrate the progress in this direction. And I think all this long list of the factor should create, including the democracy, including the freedom of speech, including of freedom of mass media, including that, I hope, cross fingers, nobody knows who would be the next president, as President Kwasniewski said. I think all of this factor is giving us absolutely enough argument to invest in Ukraine.